Race fans, this weekend, stock cars are revving up for the 36th annual Fall Classic here in the Tri-Cities. That's taking place at the Red Mountain Events Center in West Richland on the Tri-City Raceway. Apple Valley News Now's Riley Fitzgerald joined the racers in the pit this morning and brings us down to the track. In the Northwest, this weekend is your last chance of the year to see race cars line a championship track. So everybody kind of comes to this one and then all the cars get put away or worked on all winter for next year. This means drivers at the Tri-City Raceway may be going a little faster and racers may be driving a bit riskier, according to driver Donnie Wanna. Mainly because people are like, hey, I'm going to give it everything I have to try to win this race. And if I tear my car up, I got all winter to rebuild it. Unfortunately, that's a lot of people's attitude, which ends up making a lot more yellows and a lot more wrecks. There are 140 cars out there this weekend, hitting top speeds of more than 100 miles per hour. There's two days of racing on Saturday and Sunday on the only half-mile trioval track in the nation. It's a unique track that only some racers are used to. Evan Getz is a 16-year-old racer who's taking on the Tri-City Raceway for the very first time this weekend. You take one corner wrong and when actually you can hit the wall, totally your car. Here, you hit, mess up in a corner and you just gather back up and take the next lap. Here's a lot faster. Regardless of how different, the 36th annual Fall Classic is one of the biggest races of the year, especially in the Northwest. It's a prestigious race and it's a huge deal to win it in any class that's racing here. So people are kind of like, you know, we're going to go give it our best shot. Everyone in the pit wants a big turnout over the weekend at the last hurrah until the spring. We need it. The racetracks are dying around in the northwest and uh, as many people as we can get here is always better. Both days, the gates open at 9 and racing starts at 1. In West Richland, Riley Fitzgerald, Apple Valley News Now. Now, Tri-City Raceway officials say this is an in-person only event. It won't be broadcast. If you want to check it out, you can find tickets on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com.